Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of Learn Objective C. And today we're going to be talking about automatic reference counting, otherwise known as ARC. Yay! Okay, so this is the project that we had from the last episode uh, on memory management. And I've just colored it with some comments here to remind you guys uh, about what's going on. So just a quick recap, I allocated a new instance of my class here. And then I declared a second variable and assigned it that instance as well. And I called a release on it, which would decrement the counter by one. And this retain statement increments it by one. And then I can still use my second reference variable because the retain counter is still one. It hasn't been uh, deallocated yet. But then here, in this last statement, if I forget to release it, then that object would get stranded and it would have a memory leak. So with all of these, you know, retain releases, you can see how prone it is to error. And we're only looking at one method. Wait till you start passing objects around to other methods and, you know, stuff like that. So with iOS 5, Apple introduced ARC or automatic reference counting. And that saves you from having to write all of these retain and release statements. What happens behind the scenes is actually when you compile your app, all of those retain and release statements get dynamically injected into your code. So it's not a garbage collection system. Don't think of it like that. Arc merely saves you from having to write all of the retain and release statements. So why don't we go ahead now and kind of set up the same project, but Arc enabled, and we can see what the difference would be. Okay, so let's create that new project. So I go file, new project. Uh, I had created a single view application before. And I'm going to call this one, um, what did I call the other one? Memory management, let's call this one arc. So all you have to do to make your project arc enabled is make sure that this box is checked off. Use automatic reference counting. I'm just going to create a new folder for it. Okay, so we've got our new project. So let me start by creating a my class. And then what did we have in here before? We had a method called do something, which I am going to put back. Oh, wrong file. Should be doing it in the header file. And then in here, in the implementation file, I had all of this stuff. So all of that remains the same. Dialloc still gets called. So with arc, we never have to call the parents dialloc method. It actually does it for us. So I can safely remove the statement, but I could still have this uh, dialloc method override and I can still provide custom code in here. All right, so let's go in the implementation file for the view controller. So we started off by importing my class and then we created, you know what, so you guys don't have to watch me type, I'm going to copy and paste it from here and just modify the code. So first of all, in an arc enabled project, remember that the retain and release statements get injected for us, so we don't actually have to call any of it. We will need square brackets here. And that's it. So contrast this project that we built in Arc versus the other project where we managed memory manually. And you can see how much of a help uh, Arc is. So I want to make one thing clear. When I say that ARC was introduced in iOS 5. That does not mean that you can't build apps targeting you know, iOS 4 and below. 
All that means is that if you want to use Arc, you got to be building your app on iOS 5 SDK or greater. And if you're just starting out with iOS development, that shouldn't be a problem because if you download Xcode these days, you're going to have iOS 6 SDK pre-installed. All right, now for your fact of the day. So these days, it seems that Apple and Samsung are the two big smartphone manufacturers you know with Samsung and their Galaxy series and iPhone well <laughs> with their iPhones uh, but what's ironic is that Samsung actually manufactures some of the parts that make up the iPhone so the the retina screen and the processor found in your iPhone is actually manufactured by Samsung well who would have guessed <laughs> so what do you guys think about that let me know in the comment section below Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.